The overall goal of this procedure is to detect T-cell responses to antigens of interest. This is accomplished by first coding with capture antibodies. The second step of the procedure is to add cells and antigens of interest and then incubate overnight. The third step of the procedure is to add detection antibodies. The final step of the procedure is developing the plate with substrate reagents and analyzing spots. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show cytokines of interest through analysis of spot-forming units. Hi, my name is Dr. Kira Richter and I'm a research instructor in Dr. Wonder Drake's laboratory at Vanderbilt University in the Division of Infectious Diseases. Today we are demonstrating the ELISPOT technique, also known as the enzyme-linked immunospot assay. Dr. Isfahan Chambers and Tiffany Cohn will be demonstrating the technique for you today. In order to maintain cell culture standards, perform manipulations under sterile conditions in the hood, open an ally spot plate, and wash three times with PBS. Prepare a coating solution of the capture antibody in PBS. Mix well by vortexing. For convenience, transfer the antibody solution to a reservoir for the multi-channel pipetter and aliquot 100 microliters of coating solution into each well. Seal the plate with parafilm and place in a refrigerator overnight. These antibody-coated plates are good for weeks. The rule of thumb dictates that a plate can be used if there is still liquid left in the wells. To prepare the cells for this assay, stain freshly isolated peripheral blood mononuclear cells with Tripen Blue for viability and count them. Plate the PBMCs at 2 million cells per milliliter in our test.